Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Pure MMT for the 100% Beyond the Memes. Real macroeconomics and investing. All right. Let's get started with this uh, next episode. I think it's episode three. And uh, MMT, external debt fallacy. Everything that you ever uh, hear about, um, you know, economies blowing up, MMT would tell you, oh, it was external debt. And that's it. Do they know what that means? No. <laughs> as long as they use those words, well, it's because it had external debt. They had foreign denominated debt. That's why they blew up. Venezuela, external debt. Zimbabwe, external debt. Turkey, external debt. Doesn't matter. Anything you tell them that doesn't agree with them, uh, external debt. Okay. All right. Well, here's the United States. External debt, 21 trillion plus. So what happened? We, by, by their logic, we, our currency should have blown up and uh, <laughs> everything should be zero. Right? See, MMT are masters at cognitive linguistic science. Don't think of an elephant. Okay? They love to put the cart ahead of the horse. The cart does not pull the horse. External debt is not the problem. Blowing up your currency is the problem. Okay? Blowing up your currency is always the problem. Not the external debt. Not the pegging. In fact, if you look at the top nations, number one in the world in external for foreign debt is United States, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Japan, Netherlands, Italy, Spain, China, Canada, Switzerland. <laughs> Why aren't they all blown up? Right? In fact, you'll be hard pressed to find a country in the world today that doesn't have external debt. We live in a globalized economy. Okay? It's not the external debt. Okay. It's blowing up your local currency. That's the problem. 146 nations since 1960. Let me correct that. 148 nations since 1960 have blown up their currency. Their local currency. Okay. This one only goes to 146. Add Turkey. Add Lebanon to that. Okay. It's the local currency that blows up. The fact that they end up in external debt, the fact that they end up in a peg currency is a result. Okay. What happens? They blow up the local currency printing for the people's economy. Deficits are a myth. Blah, blah, blah. They just keep printing and printing, creating more slices in a pizza, but not creating a bigger pizza. Adding more numbers to a yardstick, not making more yardstick. Okay, you, that's why I always tell you, you cannot print, borrow, and import to prosperity. You can't do it. It's not possible. Okay, you can do it for some time. Sure, everybody, you know, economy, economies are not always stable, right? There's periods of time where, you know, you're going to have to, you know, print, borrow, and import for a period of time, but not forever. Okay. If you start doing this deficits are a myth and print for the people's economy stuff eventually you're going to blow up your local currency but MMT tells you well it's because of external debt no external debt is a follow up and I'm talking about external debt that is excessive so what happens well you know they blow up the currency it's not going the way it's supposed to inflation starts to come the currency is devaluing so some smart guy comes out. He's like, "Look, look, okay, stop, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna give you these bonds and dollars and this and that and whatever. We're gonna change our ways. Don't worry about it. Right? Gives gives that warm fuzzy feeling to investors. Okay, we'll get it in dollars and euros and whatever, pounds. And then they wait." Right? Well, peg the currency. Don't worry about it. The currency will be one-to-one -to, -one to the dollar. Don't worry about your investment. Everything is fine. 
we're going to change our ways and investors wait and wait and wait until finally they suck every ounce of foreign reserve reserves out of that nation and the economy blows up meanwhile as these print borrowing importers deficitary myth were printing for the people crazies they're trying to print up money to go buy more foreign reserves to keep giving it to investors <laughs> but it, it's you know self-defeating doesn't work anymore and by the time inflation hits and everything blows up like it does in Lebanon like it did in Lebanon Zimbabwe Argentina all these places Turkey it's blowing up now by the time that happens you know what MMT comes out and says ah it's because it had external debt ah higher interest rates are inflationary they tell you again putting the cart ahead of the horse no no central banks raise interest rates to defend the currency that's why they raise them they're not stupid and MMTers are smart or oh, <laughs> we're stupid we're gonna raise interest rate to create inflation no 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 inflation comes first and then central banks try to stop inflation by raising interest rates interest rates do not cause inflation do they ultimately cause inflation at some point in the future sure sure but there is no future to worry about if you can't defend the currency today and that's why they raise interest rates you see putting the cart ahead of the horse it's the same thing as saying oh Muslims some terrorists and you know implying 1.3 billion people versus saying all terrorists are Muslim I'm sorry uh, 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 yeah all terrorists are Muslim We're talking about 30,000 and that doesn't make sense either because if you go ask anybody from ISIS they don't even know how to quote you a verse from the Quran but you get the point okay so the next time somebody sit here and uh, tells you uh, oh that's because of external debt yeah I got this one uh-huh yeah it's external debt don't worry about it external debt from an MMT -er, when you quote one of the nations that blew up their currency you can explain to them why that's wrong why that's it's not the card pulling the horse how about hot tax hot tax gives value to the currency uh, yeah right so Venezuela just didn't tax enough <laughs> is that the problem I mean that's just stupid right everybody's seen the video well if I give you this card if you want this card you're gonna do something for me right otherwise you can't leave, leave the room ha <laughs> see it's valuable now I mean come on seriously I mean you guys really seriously believe that kind of stuff honestly you know the government gives value to people by printing first before taxing see and whatever is left over are tax credits are you serious are you serious the government is a custodian of the medium unit of measure with the authority to tax and redistribute wealth using those taxes the government doesn't have anything to give you that's 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 insane right what do you think Biden and Pelosi are gonna run out and start working and give you stuff what 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 in the world but but people believe this things well the dollar came first yeah the, the, the government cannot give value to a currency period it can print up the units of measures used to facilitate transactions within the economy yes but it doesn't come with value value can only come from the private sector blood sweat tears innovation production consumption value does not come hey can you print me up some money I'm gonna import some stuff and by the way I'm gonna borrow from a foreign bank I need to consume some more imports higher rates are inflationary nonsense we, 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 we covered that already I love this one exports are a cost exports are a cost how can exports be a cost 
job creating exports that produce wages so people can feed their families buy a home buy a car put their kids through college how the hell is that a cost imports are a benefit ah okay I got it so we're gonna print up deficits you're gonna pass them out like 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 candy we're gonna create jobs for somebody else outside of the United States or any country for that matter it doesn't matter okay and, and and we're gonna be benefited by that by destroying jobs and creating jobs for somebody else so we can't buy a home we can't buy a car we can't pour our kids through college because we don't have a job somebody else does but hey we bought because the government printed worthless little piece of digits and we gave it to them ho <laughs> ho those dummies that took it and people believe these things MMTers believe this stuff inflation is the limit we covered this by the time inflation comes it's over it's game over thank you for playing goodbye look at Venezuela right everything was great right up to the point it wasn't and then snap inflation went through the roof everything started to implode look at Turkey look at Lebanon inflation is the limit as if they have a plan for inflation what are they gonna do impose austerity then oh let's cut government spending uh, we created too many tax credits from that hot tax doesn't even make sense the idea that we can just create a hot tax print money import and then create a job guarantee with unskilled labor that just show up and do nothing of value because if it was something of value the private sector would be doing it right so by default they're doing nothing of value giving them free money because we destroyed all the jobs because we you know exports are a cost imports are a benefit and then when inflation comes well we'll just blame the central bank for raising interest rates trying to defend the trying to defend the currency and then we'll blame you know the interest rates for the inflation not because we were doing anything stupid and then when it all goes to shed we'll just blame external debt Ah, oh, it was the external debt dummy. Yeah, oh, jeez. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Huh. Pure MMT for the 100%. Beyond the means, beyond the bumper stickers. Thank you for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.